The president spent less than 24 hours on Ghana soil, but the trip was not short on emotion. The highlight was the first family's visit to the Cape Coast Castle, one of the most infamous outposts of the Atlantic slave trade. It reminds us that uh, as bad as history can be, uh, it's also possible to overcome. Mr. Obama's roots, a son of a Kenyan goat herder, are well known. But this was also an important visit for First Lady Michelle Obama, whose oldest known relative, her great-great-grandfather Jim Robinson, was a slave in South Carolina. As Americans, uh, and as African Americans, obviously, uh, there's, a, there's a special uh, sense that, uh, on the one hand, uh, this place uh, was a place of profound sadness. Uh, on the other hand, uh, it is here where uh, the journey uh, of much of the African American experience began. The Obama's visit to the Cape Coast attracted thousands. Overflowing crowds filled rooftops, peered out windows, hung off scaffolding, did anything to catch a glimpse of the American president, even running down the road chasing the motorcade. Normally wary of exposing their two daughters to TV cameras, the first couple made an exception. It was particularly important for uh, uh, Malia and Sasha, who are growing up uh, in, in such a blessed way, uh, to be reminded uh, that uh, history can take uh, very cruel turns. The excitement surrounding the president's visit was evident in every corner of Accra. The president hopes his African roots creates a connection that persuades African leaders to embrace his vision for the continent. That vision was laid out in a lunchtime speech to the Ghanaian parliament. We must start from the simple premise that Africa's future is up to Africans. But the true sign of success is not whether we are a source of perpetual aid that helps people scrape by. It's whether we are partners in building the capacity for transformational change. Toward the end, he resurrected some familiar campaign rhetoric. You can conquer disease and end conflicts and make change from the bottom up. You can do that. Yes, you can. This speech was the last of four major international talks, including Prague, Cairo, Moscow, and here in Ghana, that together outline his foreign policy goals. Many Ghanaians begged the American president to stay longer. As he left, the president, who struggled early in life to find a connection to his own father, talked about what this trip meant to him as a father. I'll never forget the image of my two young daughters, the descendants of Africans and African Americans, walking through those doors of no return, but then walking back those doors of return. During this overseas trip, the president found his domestic agenda coming under fire, and that may explain why he took a break in Italy to record his weekend address and focus it on a defense of his $787 billion stimulus package.